You have had many near-death experiences in your life, some of them too near. You have noticed that you are aging much slower than your friends and family, or maybe not at all. To test your suspicion, you lock yourself away from your court and test your condition. After the research is complete, you come to the conclusion, I am immortal. Boom. Immortality, a click away. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming, and this is Crusader Kings 3, with a twist. So, do you enjoy Crusader Kings 3, but you think something is missing? Something supernatural? Something magical? That's right. Immortality is here. It's just that living forever is one thing, but why not have competitors? How about there's a bunch of immortals competing to be number one? There can be only one. New game. Let's go 1066 and play any character. Let's play in the center of Europe. Let's play as the king of Poland. Game rules. Scroll down, and these are our options. Location, we're going to keep them all inside of Europe. We're going to make sure someone as low as a count can become an immortal. We can go on pilgrimage to hunt down other immortals. And if you want, you can make immortals infertile. But be aware, you'll struggle with alliances. And you also might have a lack of knights. But don't worry about succession. Remember, you're going to live for a very long time. Start. Poland! Look at the size of that. And what is this decision? Spawn in immortals. This decision will spawn in 12 immortal characters with the option for your current character to be one of them. Spawn immortality. Now, I don't know why you do this, but you can be mortal if you want to. And just play normal. And if you were to kill an immortal, that will give you immortality. You can absorb their life force. But in this case, we're going to go with I want to be immortal. You have had many near-death experiences in your life, some of them too near. You have noticed that you are aging much slower than your friends and family, or maybe not at all. To test your suspicion, you lock yourself away from your court and test your condition. After the research is complete, you come to the conclusion, I am immortal. Boom. Immortality, a click away. And this is what it gives us. So, God life, health boost, live forever. We don't lose any prowess as we get older. We gain a bunch of buffs and... We also hate all of the mortals. Who are the immortals, you ask? Relationships. And here they are, including me, the Elite 12. And what we're going to do is add them all to our pin list. One by one by one until we have 12. It appears only one of them is out of range, and it's this guy, Sammy. Apart from that, enjoy a lovely casual game of Crusader Kings 3 without having to worry about dying. So let's just play a game, eh? First of all, we're going to go for stewardship, we're going to go for money. With extra money, we'll be able to go on pilgrimages and hunt down other immortals. Hand over rightful leisures. Vassal by vassal by vassal. Options for alliances internally. And our wife has five stewardship. No, that won't do. Oh, but the Pope is like, nope. How about if the Pope loved us? 20% chance. You know what? I'll take those odds. And then we'll hire ourselves a best marshal. Tell him to train commanders. And this will make our men at arms nice and dirty and cheap. Light footman? Yes, don't mind if I do. In fact, let's make that too. So this is going to play out like a regular Crusader Kings 3 game, but with a twist. You're going to live forever. And to top that off as well, if you kill other mortals, you'll get some spicy surprises. Oh, you'll see. So who's the closest? There's one in the HRE there. We have one in Romania. Ah, then we've got one in the east, very close to us. Another one in HRE, another HRE. Ooh, Byzantium. France, a count in Anatolia, one in Hungary nearby, another HRE, and finally the Sami man in the high north. The first thing I'd like to do is see if we can trap this guy right about here. He is inside of the Duchy of Lithuania. Surprisingly, they're all counts apart from this lady in Anatolia. And I'm a king. Well, that's a nice advantage. I'll take that. So we can go for an easy holy war here and then start branching towards that way. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Easy opportunity. Push out. And I'm going to take it. Easy holy war. First blood. Ding. And another opportunity to push a little bit further east. And ding. Another one bites the dust. And here he is. Our first immortal. He is a single lonely count. And he is our rival. And he is ripe for the pickings. So what I want, ideally right now, is to capture this guy by sieging down his county and just lob him in prison. No join, let's intercept this army. Capture the combatant. Hey! And we got him! Mr. Lithuanian Immortal, I have got bad news for you. Your immortality is not going to last very long. I am so sorry. Execute. 
As the chieftain fell before my feet, I felt a strange sensation, a tingling going through head to toe. Wind began blowing from nowhere and lightning sprung from his body and into me. I could feel the power rising me into the air and their knowledge filling my mind. And then it was all over, as if nothing had happened. It appears I can drain the immortality from other immortals and use it to empower myself. There can only be one. We have become a greater immortal, which gives buffs, more stats. We have also gained all of their perks. That's right, all of them. First of all, we're going to go for golden obligations. And he's a bit of a learner. So first of all, what we're going to do is make sure our realm priest loves us. That's good. At the same time, let's go for some sway scheme power to sway the Pope. Now, there is 11. You now have the ability to hunt down immortals. It costs 250 gold. This will allow you to go on a pilgrimage to hunt down another immortal and challenge them to a duel. 12 seconds later. Now we've got the money. That's exactly what we're going to do. Hunt immortals. 250 gold. Off he goes. Ideally, in a perfect world, we need to hunt this Sammy guy in the north because he's the furthest away and he's out of diplomatic range. Otherwise, we're going to have to conquer in that direction. We're going to have to slowly make our way north. I have traveled very far in the past few months and finally arrived in this barony. After hearing rumors of an immortal man living somewhere in the county, I quickly discovered it to be Count Guy. This guy! And I've been tracking their route around the county and their castle. Soon, I will find the perfect opportunity to strike. He's only got eight prowess, so if we deal this guy, it's a definite win. The hunt begins. I have followed Guy to a dark alley ooh, during the night and they keep turning their head and I'm worried that they know I'm following them. They turn the corner out of view and I make my move. I draw my sword and lunge around the corner. There can only be one, apparently. And then we get a standard duel. So what I'm just going to do this is going to go for all the risky plays. So in this case, I'll show how I will show how I left a sword. Heft, heft, strike, parry, repose. You maggot, you think you can stand against me? And then finally we'll strike and parry again. And once again, Count Guy fell before my hand. I could feel the quicking upon me again. I don't know why we're at sea all of a sudden. As before, I raised into the air. Lightning sprung Guy's body and the power and knowledge become drained into me. There can only be one. And we won a duel. We're now a potent immortal, which comes with some extra stats. And yes, we drained all of their stats once again. All of their stats will flow into me. First, we're going to go for Steward Leader because we know the extra prowess. But we do need the money to make sure we've got a big army. Because remember, this is a normal game of CK3 as well. So we could get attacked. And being a mall does not mean I can stand up against an army of 10,000. Not yet, anyway. Okay, we're going to invest into Intrigue. And Swift Execution is a good plan. So what I'm going to do now is look for an opportunity for an easy murder. So 35%. That's actually pretty good. This guy, 29%. Not too bad. This guy... 10%. Oh, 95%. The Duchess. Wow. Why is that so high? Oh, she's hated. See, that's the deal. If you have a bigger domain, there's more people inside it, and then there's more people potentially who can hate you. It's like being on YouTube, guys. The more subs you've got, the more haters you've got. Feels bad, man. Boom. Okay, we need a way better spy, too. You will do. Ooh, Albino. Right, two months left. One month left. It is time. 95% chance to kill the Duchess. Done. Another immortal has fell before my hand and I feel immense power and knowledge entering my body. And I've also become a murderer. Oh well, kind of comes with the territory, right? More perks. Now the plan is just to make big fat men at arms, get them as big as possible, build up our army size, then potentially we can start taking pokes out the HRE. And it's good because they've got a lot of immortals and we need to take bites out of them. Pomerania, let's take a bite out of them. Your right to struggle against the non-believers has not gone unnoticed. Hey, money. Hey, 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 what do we have here? A rival has challenged you to a fight. The Count in Greece. Funnily enough, though, this fight will only result in one character gaining stress. It will not result in one of them dying. So can we just challenge you to an actual fight to the death? Two immortals have dueled, and one has fallen. We now have a level two immortal AI. We're not the only one hunting down immortals. Remember, there can only be one. Win. Time to sell minor titles money and extort the subjects let's get some men at arms that are polish light horsemen connie which in my mind i like to pretend these are hussars okay just let me have this one all right lots of hussars so not only can you hit the event which you can do every 10 years to hunt down immortals by paying money but also manually if you're finding them on the map you can also challenge them there as well excommunicated 78 overseer incestuous oh boy i'm gonna do the world a favor and he says, yes, let's go. So first of all, hit him with the book. Strike, hit my book and strike. Victorious. So he's wounded in this instance and he doesn't actually die. I think what needs to happen here is you need to have a trait that gives you the option to finish him off. 
But seeing as I'm such a good person, diligent, wrathful, and generous, I would presume wrathful, I mean, I'd, I'd go into a fit of rage and murder him, but I guess not. Regardless, we have the option now to actually do a proper hunt and look for the immortals. 250 gold, off we go. The Duchy of Prussia. Yeah, I'll take all of that, thanks. Hey, who said this was all about becoming immortal and becoming all powerful? Hey, I wanna make some girthy Polish borders. Who has any problem with that? Tell me in the comments below. In other news, the hunt begins. The one that's actually furthest away, luckily. I've challenged to a duel in Spain. The battle is on. Maggot! You think you can stand against me? Hit him with the buck. Strike. Strike. And he is dead. At the moment, my prowess is so high that a lot of these battles, even if I make really bad decisions, I'll still end up coming out on top anyway. Regardless, boom, he is dead. All of his powers have been absorbed. We are now a powerful immortal. We are now red. And we've got lots of perk options. And we can start now focus in on Intrigue. Go for the one that gives extra agent acceptance, because that'll be coming in handy. You'll see why. Wow, the Holy Roman Emperor isn't doing very well. Losing a war against France? Okay, fair enough. This looks like an opportunity. Let's fabricate on Berlin. What if we abduct him? 5% chance. Bribe you. 53% chance. And you... 69% chance. The sexy number. Is it doable? One month left. Highway attack. Throw him in a burlap sack. And success. He's in my prison. Well, not true. He's not in a prison. He's dead. There can only be one. And then there were five. A level one. A level one. A level one. A level three. And then there's me. A level six. The prowess is getting so high right now, I don't think they're ever going to be able to challenge me. My advice is if you want the upper hand, create a custom character and give him lots and lots of prowess. That means every time you enter a duel, there's very little chance that you'll fail. The guy I tried to kill, I'm going to challenge him to a duel. Strike, strike, and I'm victorious and once again he's wounded. So I have a feeling you can only kill someone in a duel if you have a certain trait for it. Another immortal has fallen. We now have a level 4 Sammy High Immortal. We have found the Greek Immortal, the final level one Immortal. The hunt begins. Same again. Strike. 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 There's not much of a challenge anymore. I just keep whacking them over and over again. And then we are now an Elite Immortal. And oh my goodness, we've got so many stats. And then there were two. He's a level five. And I am a level seven. He's made a lot of progress. Let's switch our martial trait to Chivalry Focus, Extra Prowess, Extra Advantage in Battle. Already, let's push further north. Let's clear the pin messages, and now there is only one left. He's still a count. A dual count, that's it. He's never progressed from this point. Hmm. His army's not that much. Only problem is getting to him. Let's push all the way north here. Holy war for the whole kingdom. Inferior army size. You're mine. Alright, push north, and now we have the kingdom of Lithuania. Progress. Denmark's grabbed a bit of Prussia. I think I'll have that back, Denmark. Good opportunity to make a big step north, so I'm gonna go for the Duchy of Finland. Progress. Further north. And further north. Progress. Polish. Finland. Historical game, by the way. Household Soldiers is done. Time for more onagers. And also focus on mangonels. Yeah, make everything nice and juicy and big. He's expanded to three counties now. Gone full administrator, hunter, and architect. Not quite prepared for the combat that's coming his way, though. The Kingdom of Estonia and the Duchy of Estonia have uh, broken away from each other. The worst enemy of Estonia is Estonia. And here we go, we're finally bordering the three count Immortal Sammy Master. Let's go for a single count war to begin with and see if we can capture him. And he's running into us and he's attacking us. And he is leading the battle too. And we've taken his capital, but we've only taken, I think we've taken his son. That's not what I want. He's pretty wealthy, so by the looks of things, he's hired a bunch of mercenaries after losing that first battle. He has. And I'm probably, I'm guessing, he's probably leading this army too. So, round two. Annihilated. We've won the battle, but not captured him. Hmm. Captured another leader, but he's not the one I want. Like he's leading another battle here. We may have won, but we didn't get what we wanted. He still lives. He's still up here. Again, take his entire country. Right, we've taken his capital. We didn't take any prisoners, so we have to intercept the armies, and I guarantee he will be leading the army. Here we go. Oh, no, he wasn't. His captain was leading the army. Okay, execute him. Right, uh, we've taken his land, and now he is unlanded. So, the chance of capturing him in battle, unfortunately, doesn't look like it's going to be possible. All right, in that case, let's abduct him. One month left, 32% chance. I'm not overly hopeful. 
It's the perfect time to strike. 32% chance. Cross your fingers. Oh, and we got him! Wow, I wasn't hopeful, but it happened. The final immortal execute. The power and knowledge being drained into me. There can only be one. All of the other immortals have been slain, and I am now the last immortal to walk the earth. As we were naturally drawn to kill each other, we are sure that there would be a reward for being the last immortal. But they did not expect it to be mortality. If you watch the movies, you'll know what this means. Otherwise, you can just go unlimited power and oof. Last immortal with awesome stats. Uh, I am the hundred stat man. Not sure why, but I've got a claim on the entire kingdom. Rathenia is mine. Mine. And now we've got the option to found a new empire. The Empire of Poland. Definitely a historical game. I don't like that name. Let's go full Empire of Poland. There we go. His commander ability is 110. I'm not losing any battles with this guy. Now that is a beautiful font. Hey, you made it to the end. Congrats. To show my commitment, I will heart every single comment on this video. Every single one.